The word of Yahweh is alive Helping us get through Surrounded by darkness That's trying to corrupt me But there's a light in us that we must shine So we can show the world that Yahweh's in us Forever, ever, ever, evermore Yeah, yeah, yeah We are in time of darkness So we gotta let our light shine Yes, we are in up this morning started us on our way allowed to let our light shine throughout the day and not only that to come into your house to hear your holy words your commandments and your laws and your and whatever it is that laid on the minister's heart to bring forth we give you all the glory and the praise and name Yahshua as we pray amen I'd like to read out of Psalms 39 and 13 it says oh spare me that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more hallelujah Hallelujah. You may be seated. So we thank Yahweh for the song. We thank Yahweh for the scripture that was read tonight. Truly, he has smiled on us once again. 
He given us, he continue to give us hope. He keeps showing himself to us that he's God Almighty. Amen. I want to thank y'all way for Apostle Washington, Sanira, and Desiree that's over there in Mexico doing a wonderful, wonderful work over there. I want to say to our brothers and sisters in Lubbock, y'all continue to be strong in his, in his absence. Not on them here in Arlington as well. Yes. Hallelujah. <coughs> it's all, or oh, I can't forget my wife, my beautiful wife that's Amen. been by my side Amen. through all these years. She has been a succum to me, a blessing. Very virtue, virtue woman. Very intelligent and smart. Thank her for giving me beautiful kids. And my kids give me beautiful grandbabies, which I dearly love. I said the last, last time I was up here, once upon a time, I loved them naturally so, but not spiritually so. Now I can say I love them naturally and spiritually so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Father But no doubt, we come to hear God's word. That's what's going to keep us. The Spirit's been going more over on us bishops, trying to get us to walk the same path as Apostle Washington that laid the foundation. We have to get on board, brothers, bishops. We can't do nothing different. We can't walk any, just any kind of way because you know, there's people out there watching us. We have to set the best example as Apostle Washington has sit, laid down. He showed us many, many times ago how to do this thing. We just have to line up line on line, precept on precept. And then if we do that, we won't have to worry about anything. Everything will work out, everything will come out okay. There was two bishops that went to Lubbock this weekend. Wonderful, wonderful message. Amen. I'm still trying to get that first part. I went back there and I couldn't get it. I don't know what's going on, what's taking so long. But uh, Prophet uh, Jenkins spoke and we heard him, me and my wife, we sat down and watched the word together. Hallelujah. I can truly say that this prophet Jenkins over here has been, he's been doing his job coming up to where he needs to be. Amen. You heard what uh, prophet Standifer said, being shy. He said this brother, this bishop is not shy. He got many words, many, many, many wisdom words that come out of him. And like, like the rest of the bishops, we have to just walk right like he'd do. The same way. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. But there's no coincidence that we're here tonight. Yahweh spared us again because he, he's not done with us yet. This work is just now beginning. That's why us bishops got to stand up and do what's right so the people will do right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Especially these kids going back to school. They're going to have it hard. The way things are going now. Yes. We're going to have to, uh, we like to keep things done decent in order. So we're going to give room for Prophet Jenkins. He made it here. So we're going to ask if he has any words to say. If, let us all stand and rise by bringing forth our Prophet Jenkins by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise, Praise, Praise Yahweh. Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, Saints. Y'all may be seated. Amen. Thank you, Lord Yahweh. I want to get the most high to my Father Yahweh. The son's name, y'all shoot him aside. Thank him for the breath of life and being in his house once again. Amen, amen. Thank him for another day that was not promised to me, giving double honor to the men of God that we have, our apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Yes, amen. Giving double honor to our women supervisors and brothers and sisters and our deacons. Thanking, her, thanking him for all that he's done for me and my family and my life. Thank him for the wife that he has blessed me with, the children and my grandchildren. Thank him for bringing me out of darkness to the light, for knowing the truth, the truth of him, about him, and showing me what it takes and how to walk in order to attain salvation. And that should be why we're here. That's 
Amen. When we walk through the doors is to change salvation, to know what it's like and what it's going to take for us to see him in peace. Amen. Amen. You know, we all have an idea, but the world does have an idea of how how they know the Lord or how they should know the Lord or how they should walk. But if you look at the way they walk, you'll see it's contrary to what the Word of God says here in the Bible. That's right. yes, you know, they all have a form of godliness. Yes, Lord. They have their thoughts. They have their own thoughts and they have their own ways of saying, well, don't say it don't take all of that. Amen. And if we're not careful, <clears throat> we'll fall right into that trap saying, well, it don't take all of that, as so many have in the times past. That's right. Amen. Saying they don't take all of that, saying that's, that's too much. Amen. Yes, y'all. That's, uh, see, they being excessive, they being, they going overboard, but the, uh, the way to salvation is a serious thing. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's not, it's not, it's not going to always be easy. Amen. You see, too many times people in this world, we want the easy way out. Amen. The, the they call, what they call the path of less resistance. Amen. The least resistance. Amen. And that's what we want. Amen. But I've always looked at it and I tried to you know teach and teach this especially to my kids. If it's worth having it's worth working for. Amen. 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 If it's just real easy to get, then you lose the appreciation for it. And so if it, this, this, this salvation that we seek is worth having and it's worth working for. You know, we, and here we taught how to give up ourselves, give up our life in order, that, in order for us to live. And, I'm, and I thank Yahweh that he has shined on me it's all fit to have me find the truth because I searched for the truth. You heard my testimony. Yes. All my adult life, I searched for the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to know the truth. Uh -huh. But ironically enough, we say that. Then when the truth is given to us, we reject it. Amen. And in my foolishness, I reject the truth when I first heard it. Just thought about, all I thought about was myself. Amen. You know, how I felt. Hallelujah. You know, Amen. thought about like, you know, my pride, my ego got in the way. Amen. You know, felt like uh, I felt like when the word was being preached, felt like I was being disrespected. Amen. Amen. And I, and then you know, so I left here angry. Yes, y'all. And I thank Yahweh that He didn't destroy me in my Amen. foolishness. Yes, that that uh, I had opportunity to come back here Amen. and hear the words of God. Yes, yes, Amen. You know, it was a it was a strange path that I took. Because I said I wasn't coming back. I thought I left out of here the first time. Amen. But Yahweh softened my heart. Amen. Blinded me to the way I felt before. Amen. And when I came back here, I was able to receive what was being spoken. Yeah, yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? And that's what we have to do. We have to be able to receive what's being spoken. Amen. And if you know that it's the word of God that is coming from the scriptures, coming from God, it shouldn't matter who's speaking those words. But see, too many times it's like a, it's like a psychological thing. It's a mind thing, Amen. because when we see the person speaking, you know, we automatically assume it's coming from them. Uh -huh. right. That they are, that these words being spoken is coming from them, not that it's coming from a higher power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's which, it's which each and every person, each and every bishop that stands up here, should be led by the higher power Amen. when they come and speak yeah. to the body. Amen. Not their power, but yeah. not their will, but Yahweh's will. Amen. So I make sure every time I make sure before I come up here and stand, I say the words that come out of my mouth need to be from God. Amen. I pray this constantly because I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't want to mislead the people Amen. because I've been charged to give the people what God wants them to have. Amen. Not what I want you to have, but what God wants you to have. Because right. I'm going to tell you, say, you know, just do you. Mm -hmm. you no, know, you know, that's, that's, you know, it's all right. You know, like if they, 
Like somebody make you mad at me, just don't cut them off. Don't have nothing else to do with them. See, those are my words. Amen. Those are not words of God. God is telling you, somebody do something to you or, or make you angry, man, forgive them. Amen. But forgive them. You want, and, and that's a hard thing to do. Yes. Because you think by forgiving, it makes you look weak. Uh -huh. You know, as I was stating uh, uh, the other day, you know, <clears throat> Satan tried to get me to, once upon a time, tried to get me to hate a bro. Oh, yeah. And I didn't like that feeling. I didn't want that in me. I had, so I had to pray about it. So to take the spirit out of me, Amen. you know, and I, you know, after you know talking, you know, at the time after talking to a bishop, talking to the bishops, I had, I got understanding and figured out what I needed to do. Amen. You know, I had to learn, be taught to forgive, right. and we all have to be, and that's what that's what we have to do. We have to learn to be taught to to forgive. Yes. Because the bottom line is this. You want forgiveness. You, we want forgiveness from the Almighty. So it's not too much to, for him to ask of us that we forgive. You know, you know, even if you believe everything that they're saying, or everything that they're doing is true, you got proof, you got documentation that is happening to that they're doing this. You got to forgive them. Still got to forgive them. And you do, you do, and, and you if you if you really take a take a step back and look at it, because I because I'm gonna say because I because I've been there, so I forgave immediately. The same came to my you weak, you sorry. Yeah, now they're gonna down they, see, they they don't see look they gonna continue to keep on doing what they've been doing, and so that's see, that's how Satan plays with you. But if you but if you take on the mind of the Messiah, and when you feel and when you forgive, you you feel free, you feel light, Amen. because you're not carrying that burden with you, Amen. that ang that angry spirit. Amen. Because when I had that angry spirit, it was a, it was a burden to me, Amen. and I didn't like being weighed down with that spirit. Amen. That's why we always that's why we always preach in here about love. You know, you know, you know. Some people say that I always talk about that. I'm, the reason why I do talk about that because I've been on both sides of it. Amen. Amen. Huh? I've been on both sides of not wanting to love my brother and sister, and also, uh, also my brother and sister having a problem. I, I've been on both sides of it, so I know how it feels. And so that's why I said that's why we look. You know, people on the camera can't see, but look, it's not very many of us. Even when, because everybody's not here yet, but even when everybody gets here, uh -huh. yeah. it's not going to be very many of us. Amen. Even with the church yeah. in love, it's not very many of us. Right. Even yeah. down in Mexico, right. you know, it's not very many of us. I mean, when you, when you, when you bring us all together, both here in Mexico and love, bring us all together, you're probably looking at maybe, maybe 150. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, a yeah, that, that's a maybe, 150. Amen. Where you got all these churches around here on, uh, on any given... Sunday is 200 plus, 150 plus. So we all we got. Amen. We all we got. Amen. And so it's up for us. I mean, you know, we have to make we have to make peace. Amen. I mean, when you were the kids, this, this that's right. We can't do that. It, it's weird because when we were kids. Now you get into a. That's how sometimes we have. That's the time. That's why. That's why God said we have to come to as children. Come, come, children. They make things so simple. So you remember when you were kids, you get into a, a fight or argument with a kid, another kid in the neighborhood, and guess what? The next day you're friends again. All is forgotten. But here, but grown folks, but they want to hold on to it for yeah you know, days, months, and years. Still holding on to it. I remember what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you want to be right, uh -huh. and you want, and then, then when you do, like try to make, try to reconcile the situation, you still want to point out 
why it got to that point in the first place. You want to point out what they did. I said somebody, well, see, well, the reason why I felt like that because you remember, you did, uh, did this, all you're doing is just reopen up old wounds, and, and now they're going to feel like they got to defend themselves. Well, the reason why I, I did that because, remember, when I came to you and asked you such and such, and you, and you had like you didn't, you didn't want to answer your phone or something. I mean, just ridiculous stuff. Amen. It, it, it should be enough. It should be enough that we. Can you confess your own fault? My part in it. My part in it. Forgive me. Then your brothers, you should say, forgive me. Let's bring peace. Because having peace is so much better than carrying it. It takes a lot of effort to carry anger and hatred in your heart. Amen. It takes a lot of, lot of effort and time. And you're walking around feeling... You don't know what's wrong with you. You get you, you get you get irritated and frustrated with, with everybody, with your family, because you're angry at a brother or a sister. You, you're taking it out on your children. But then you say, "Oh, I don't have no problems with them." But your actions say otherwise. You know, when it comes time when it, when it comes time to greet them after service, you avoid them. You don't speak to them. Then you'll say, then you make up an excuse. The reason why I'm, you make up an excuse to me, oh, I had a lot of stuff on my mind. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I don't have a lot of stuff on my mind. And you walk right by them. Now, that may be, they may have been the case sometime. Sometime. Yeah, you have something sometime, maybe once or twice. But every time over the course of weeks and months, not every time you didn't have stuff on your mind where you, but you didn't, you didn't have, you, it didn't stop you from going past that brother or sister, going and speaking to another brother and sister, which was like six feet to six feet away from. Him. Amen. So, you you have a problem. Amen. And God come, God has come to bring peace Amen. to the people. We have we have to have peace in here. Amen. We have to love each other better than what we do. It can't just be. Lip service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and as they you know what they say in the world about denial? Yeah, that's right. It's not just a river in Egypt. <laughs> so it's time it's time it's time for us to put all put aside all the foolishness Amen. And, and put outside the all the, the hatred. You know, I've you know when we was in uh, when we was in uh, Lubbock this weekend, I knew I knew people were upset. Amen. You know, I could see their faces, yeah. just like every bishop that stands up here can see your faces, whether you hearing or receiving the word. Why you think they say? Why you think we say what we say? Yes. And if and and if we're not and and if the bishop is not careful, that's why we have to be. In tune with Yahweh, and we're not careful, we'll let your faces dictate what we say. Amen. And then at that point, we're not speaking words of God, but we're speaking us. We can't, we can't worry about if you just, uh, like me or not when I'm speaking a word. Come, because I'm gonna speak against sin. And by chance, if you fall under that umbrella of sin, well, then the words are talking to you. Amen. Amen. That's right because we well, like we 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 know everybody, everybody. Amen. Not gonna hear us. I'm talking about in here. Because you, you turned this thing coming into walking through those doors. You have turned it into a ritual. Amen. To where you are not able to hear the words of God, but you just think it is just a part of my everyday routine. And you come here and you just sit here and you just look straight ahead. Amen. And you're not receiving anything. Amen. I say every time I walk through those doors, whether I like it or not, I'm receiving something. Amen. And I'm taking something. I'm receiving. I'm receiving. When the word being spoke, I look at every, I look at, I examine myself every time. 
Every single time. I don't care who's speaking these words. I examine myself every time. Even when somebody's giving a testimony about what they went through and how they overcome, I examine myself. And I'm honest with myself. Because I have to be because my life, my salvation is at stake. Amen. And I have to say, I say, and, I, and, and if it's something, I say, well, if I didn't see, I could do better. I could be better at that. That's right. That's no right. matter how small That's right. I may think it is, I can say I could be better than better than that. Amen. I could do better. I could, I can, I could do my brother better. I could do my sister better. Amen. I could be a better husband. Amen. I could be a better father. I could be a better grandfather. Amen. No matter, no matter what it is, Amen. I look at myself and I examine myself. I take a deep dive. Within myself. Amen. You often heard me say this. Sometimes you got to put yourself. In that MRI machine. Amen. You know the MRI machine. It takes a, takes a real deep look. Yes. Does something that goes way past. What the x-ray does. You know, it, 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 it'll, find, it'll find things. That you didn't even know was there. And so that's what you got to do. You got to put yourself in that spiritual MRI machine. You got to go and find the things. That you didn't think were there. But you found out they are like that little part of jealousy that you may have for for your sister. You didn't think you had it, but then when you take a closer look, you're jealous. You can't be like that. And that's why that, that's when you have to go and do something about it. Amen. Amen. First, let's, let's start over into the start over in First uh, Corinthians thirteen. We'll start there first. And I'm saying this, I'm going here for a reason. You don't heard it, you don't heard you don't heard this scripture before. You probably you don't heard me preach it many times before, but I have to I have to be more over with it. So to bring it back to our uh bring it back to the forefront of our mind. Because we, 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 we have to have charity here. We have to have love here. You know, we <clears throat> you know we we cannot be separated. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot separate ourselves from our brother and sister, because if we do, we we're, we're harming ourselves. Like we're putting our lives and our salvation at stake. Amen. 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 Start the very first verse and read until I tell you to stop. Yes, Lord. Amen. First Corinthians three and one. Zeke, don't worry, I'm not rushing. You. Take your time. First Corinthians three and one. Yes. First one. Though I speak with the tongues of men. And in evangels, and have not charity, I have become a sounding brass. Stop right there simple. for a minute. Yes, Lord. I'm gonna do something that <laughs> some of the old Baptist churches, some of the old churches used to do. <laughs> Try some, do some little different. And I want everybody in here to read along with with the script with the with the reader. I mean, you ain't necessarily got to read out loud, but take your Bibles out and follow along. Because I want y'all to see what God is saying to us, yes, to His Lord. people. If you if you if you have if you got this Bible sent to your side, put it in your lap. Let's follow along. Amen. 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 Now go ahead and start over. First Corinthians thirteen and one. Yes. For this written, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I have become as sounding brass or a tinkly cymbal. And though I have the prop the gift of a prophecy, and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith. So I could remove mountains, and have not charity yet, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profits me nothing. Charity suffers long, and is kind. Charity envies not. Charity boasts not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeks not her own, is not easily provoked, thinks no evil, rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Oops, stop right there. Charity is telling you what charity does and doesn't do. Amen. It's pointing out to things that I don't care how much you may think, or even I think I know about the scriptures. And I don't have any, no, that goes for anybody in here. You have, you, if you don't have any type of charity, all of that is nothing. Amen. All that's nothing. I mean, it, it, it charity doesn't puff up. I'm not gonna stand up here and say, "Boom, boom, look at me," start pounding on my chest. Amen. Be a, and, and, and sh- 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 be a showboat. Look at me. I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna stand over at the at the 
microphone at the, at the instruments and play, see, and play and say, look at me. Look how I can play this guitar. Look how I can play these drums. And, and, and I'm boasting itself. Uh, uh, charity, charity doesn't do that. We, we, we have to have love for one another better than what we do right now. I ain't saying you don't have love because some of you got, you know, some of you got 30 fold. Some of you got 50, some of you got 60. Some of you got 70, and some of you do have a hundredfold. But we want everybody to have a hundredfold. We got, we, got, we got to love our brothers and sisters better than what we do. We have to be there for them. We can't make excuses. Now you heard me, you heard me say, you heard me say a few weeks ago, a month or two ago, when I was talking about the young sisters. Well, because where is the love when it comes down to going over there and helping serve when when they, when we having some type of when we're selling food or having some type of event, yes, sir. Um, you know you have because it's always the same people every single time, yes, sir. and it's always like like the, the like the youngest. It's always either Desiree. Now I'm going to call out names. It's always either Desiree or it's always e even a, a Jasmine. Amen. They'll be they'll be over there helping serve. You know when we got other sisters who are able body. I know some of you might be Amen. cleaning. We got other sisters who are able-bodied that can go over there and help serve sometime. Amen. But, but we, but, but, but soon, but soon as, uh, I, soon as, but, soon, but how can I put it? When I asked somebody to go over there and help that day, uh -huh. nobody went to come want to see who was going to go and help because you had, you had, you had Mother Ray Ray over there by herself serving the food. After she don't cook the food, serving the food. Then you had Mother Gayla over there uh, serving the food. Huh? Those sisters. And, and even out there that cook the food, where, where is the love for our, for our mothers in the church? Huh? We, we have to show them more love, especially you. I'm talking, especially talking to you who are under the age of 50. Amen. Yes, Lord. And who are able body. You're able to run over there and grab your plate and make sure your children got a plate, make sure your husband got a plate. But what, is it too much to ask you to help pick up and put, put, put some little food on the plate? And we ask you to do it. We ain't ask you to do it. Yeah, yeah you show you. Yeah, you show. And then you standing in line talking about put a little bit more on there. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can. Yeah, 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 I mean, a, a, a prophet said he's had a chip and, and you know ain't got enough cheese on it. <laughs> we get like that yes, behind food. Amen. Sometimes we sometimes I, sometimes we lose our mind uh -huh. behind food. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, and I'm gonna say this. I ain't never said this before over the pulpit. That was one of the first things I noticed when I first got to church. Yes, Lord. People lose their mind yep. over food. It brought me back to, I remember when I was a kid in school, when the lunch bell ring, you see kids running down the hall to make it to the lunchroom, be there in time. Now, when I got here, yeah, I wasn't necessarily running, but you had a little pep in your step. Want to be the first one in line, even when move the children out the way. That's what I noticed when I first got here. It got a little better. Not much. It got a little better over the years. Amen. And I made up my mind. I said, <laughs> I'm not fixing to do that. Amen. I'm not, I'm not going to get up here and, and let food take me out of the spirit like that. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And, and yeah, to the point where you get disrespectful Amen. to your brother and sister. You're, you're fussing at the one who's serving to my. You can't put no more on her than that. Hallelujah. Get angry with them. Amen. Too comfortable with each other. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, we become too comfortable Amen. with each other. We figured that we could talk to each other any type of way. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Then you, then you want to accuse them, or and you want to accuse them of being respected person to the way they put a lot of food on their on their brother or their husband or their sister plate. They didn't give me that much. And guess what? I seen that too. It, had, it does happen. Amen. Amen. That needs to stop too. All 
of it. Yeah. All, all of it needs to stop because that's not charity. That's not, that, I mean, you don't want us to do that. <laughs> Apostle said, you don't want us to start getting a scale and start measuring out the amount we want to give. Everybody get the same amount. And, 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 I, and, I, and, I, and I know that whoever's over there in charge, like if it's Mother Sheree, she tells you how much to give, how much, and you should follow those, follow those directions, those instructions. And don't be, and, and saints, brothers, sisters, please, please. Please, don't be sneaking food when you think somebody's back is turned. Let everybody get their chance first. Let everybody get their plate first. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. Go ahead, because you think about you, 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 if you're afraid that it's going to run out, so you got to, so you make sure you get yours, and then you you get yours. When I say you get, well, you 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 throw it on there, you pile it on there. That's not charity. Because then now it's not enough for for your uh, uh, for the person who at the back of the line. That's right. Amen. Because they didn't move they didn't move as fast as you did to get there to the front of the line. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let's not do that either, brother and sister. Amen. Love one another better than that. Amen. 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 It, it'll be enough. Amen. It'll be enough. Amen. And by chance, if it's not enough, guess what? It's not the end of the world. Yeah. I mean, it ain't like that. If you don't eat that, you won't have no, nothing to eat for a week. Me and my family, we're going to go with that. We're going to starve because we've been hungry. Come on. Come on. You, you, I know you got food at, at home. Yeah. Fun. It's, 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 it's a fundraiser. Amen. It's about the, and it's also about the fellowship. Amen. It's not the, it's not the, not to fill your belly. That's right. Because at that point you make it, you making your belly your God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. No, yeah, that's right. We supposed to be serving the ministry, not the belly. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we, 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 we're serving tonight. We're gonna see. <laughs> and some of you gonna some of you gonna say, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be temperate tonight. And two weeks from tonight, it's going to go right back to the same old thing. Yeah, it, it, exactly. And, and like I said, I ain't calling no name. I only call two names. I only call two names. Now, if you're mad to my, if you're mad to my, that ain't me. Okay, prove it. I'm only going on what I see and what I have seen. And we got, we have to love one another better than that. If they come and ask you to help. Help. Be 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 ready. Don't tell me, well, I got my kids. Amen. That's that's a, but that's the that's the that's that's the top that's the top excuse. Amen. Well, who gonna watch my kids? Well, you ain't watching them now. Cause I see I see them all over there by the pulpit, running back and forth out in the hallway. So you ain't worried about who watching them now. And so. So we're going to take away any excuse. If somebody ain't got nobody to watch your kids, go to find somebody that you trust Amen. to watch your kids. Trust. Somebody you trust. I mean, it could be a family member, one of the brother and sister. And brother and sister, if they ask you to watch them, please do it. So, yeah, so we, we're talking about showing charity, showing love here Amen. to one another. Hallelujah. And just don't get up here and testify about it. Let's be about it. Because yeah. right. then, then you're just a noise maker. Yeah. That's right. No, it's like on it's like on New Year's New Year's Eve where they be making all the noise, all that. That's all you are. You just dead. Yeah. Sounding brass. Amen. Sounding brass. You know, sounding be just ding, 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 just noise. Yeah. No purpose. Like yeah. <laughs> Amen. Read. Charity suffers long. Yes. And is kind. Charity envies not. Charity boasts not itself. Is not puffed up. Yes. Does not behave itself unseemly. Yes. Seeks not her own. Is not easily provoked, thinks no evil. Rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes in all things, Amen. endures all things. And that's what and that's 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 what we have to do. Yes, Yahweh. Because you because things we we have to endure because we think it's not going the way we it should. It's not, or, see with us again. 
we, we, too many times we've been guilty, me too, Man. been guilty of putting a timetable on, on God's deliverance. That's right. Amen. We put, we, 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 put, we put them on the clock, okay? I expect to be delivered or overcome by this time. Uh, yes. he, yeah, you have to, I mean, we can't do that. That's right. No, love, charity, suffering long. So, if it, if maybe it's God's will that you suffer a little longer because you have not fully comprehended what he wants from you. Yeah, I know we, you know, sometimes I'm right there with you. You know, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I, 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 I want a little, I want a little peace. I want a little break from the trials and tribulations. My flesh gets tired of suffering. But you're not, so you, you're not alone. You, we all drinking from the same cup, maybe different sides of the cup, but we drink it from the same cup. You know, I, but I have to remember. I have to make myself remember. If I'm still in this situation, maybe Yahweh's not done with me yet. He wants me to learn something. Uh, maybe it's just with that I learn a little bit more. And that way when, I, when, I'm, when, the, when the situation passes and I overcome it, the feeling, the reward would be that much greater. Amen? Because, because when you do what Yahweh wants you to do, and you, know, and you suffer through it, and you suffer through it. When you come out on the other side, you feel great. You feel, you feel free. You feel like you can do anything. Right. You, have, you have a peace about you that cannot be described. But Amen. You, say you, you feel like you can overcome anything. Amen. You feel like you have the strength of ten men, of ten saints. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah, you feel victorious. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. We all been there. Those who've been, who have been obedient to God's word. When they gave us instructions on how to handle a certain thing or how to handle a matter. Yes, Lord. When you, when you, when you, it's always, it always feels good when you're obedient to God. Yes, Lord. When you uh, abide in Him. It feels good, but when you're disobedient, that's when you, that's when you start feeling like everybody's against you. That's even right. when the, even when a bishop comes up here and speaks, he's like, oh, what he finna say? Right. <laughs> And he don't even know. He don't even know that you were being up this up being, but the spirit knows. Amen. And then he started preaching into my. Then again, the mind, it, how it plays with us. You saying it's him talking about you or preaching on you, and he don't know nothing about your condition or what you're going through. But see, we for, we come here, we forget. Sometimes I say we forget the God that we serve. Amen. Cause he sees all and knows all. When you sitting in your when you sitting in your car by yourself and say ain't nobody around in the parking lot, ain't nobody around in the parking lot. Then you want to hit that radio, turn it on K104 or, or the other channel. Then you start listening to something and you think ain't nobody around. Then they, the preacher come up here and preach about turning the radio on and you want to tell my who told him? <laughs> yeah, so taking that seat. Tell my who told him? Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. And then forgot who's watching. That's why I said. That's why. I, that's why I said. I knew this was the house of God. I knew the spirit of God dwelled because when I came back, I came back. Nobody knew what I did because once again I blamed my wife when I came the first time. Her telling everybody, telling the, telling the bishop about me. I'm saying to you, telling them all my business. So when I came back. I ain't, no, I ain't tell her nothing. I'm gonna let her know, I let her know the bare minimum. Oh, yeah. Then the word spoke and started touching on this, start touching on that. Amen. And I'm thinking, I'm, so I'm thinking to myself, she couldn't have known. That's right. Amen. She couldn't have known. She wasn't even there. Amen. She didn't know. She didn't know my thoughts, my plans. She didn't, she didn't know. I didn't tell nobody. I didn't, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna replay it over in my mind. Did I accidentally say it on the phone to somebody? Did, and my kids overheard me. And then you know, then, then you start getting ridiculous. You start saying, "Did, I, did my did my phone be tapped?" <laughs> yeah, but both my head like, like, what, like, what happened? You know, like sometimes you hear a little click on the phone. Did she like click on the phone? 
Or you on a you on a three or you on a call waiting? You hear and say, did I not click back over when I should have when the, when she was on the other line and she heard me talking? Did I start talking to her thinking I had clicked back over? No, you start getting you start getting ridiculous with the thought with with the thought. And I realized something. I realized something that this is the house of God. The Yahweh Spirit dwells here with us. Amen. And I pray that He does not take His Spirit away from us. Because we need it, we need it now more than we ever have before. Amen. Hallelujah. We need Yahweh in our life. You're looking at the world around us, all the things that's going on. You know, we don't know, we don't know when our end is coming. When I was, I was, when I was uh, sharing, talking, talking to Apostle Stanley from the call, we were talking about the little incident that happened last week in California when that woman ran through that intersection and killed those six people. Yeah. Just sitting there at an the intersection at a red light. Yeah. Now, yeah, my name, you got a, you got a, you had a family in the car with, uh, with a, with a woman, eight months pregnant, her eleven month, eleven month old child, and, and the father, they on their way to the, to on their way to the doctor. It's a routine trip to the doctor. Yes. And their life is gone just like that. Yeah. Just because they were sitting at a red light. Yeah. Waiting for the light to change so they continue on their journey. Amen. How many red lights did we say that on the way here tonight? Yeah. Huh? How many red lights have we said on all this said at all this week where something like that could have happened? Yes, Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes, Yahweh. We we don't we don't know. Amen. We don't know the the hour of our time. Right. We, 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 uh, when I was here listening to uh, one of the bishops, we were talking about, you know, when we had that breakfast, oh, yeah. that that breakfast a few years back there on a Sunday, we we were fellowship and we everybody was having a good time. We were eating yeah. breakfast. We had cooked breakfast instead of having church. We had breakfast that that day. Everybody chipped in. Everybody chipped in, and we had a good time. Fellowship, having a great time. Yeah. Huh? Then the very next morning we heard that, a, that a, our brother passed, brother Dave had passed away. Yeah. We wanted, we didn't see that coming. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. We didn't see it coming because we, because we still, some of us were still riding high from, from what we, from the day before. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. yeah. And so we, we don't uh, know. I would like to, you know, live, 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 live along. Yes. Spiritually healthy and healthy life, Amen. but it's not promised to me. Amen. Microphone, please. Somebody give a uh, microphone. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you look at a lot of those that have gone. A lot of them was just in their fifties. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, and that and that's a and for me. That's a, re that's a big reality check. Yes. Because I'm 52 years old. Yes, and there's no guarantee that I'm going to live as long as my mother. My mother, she's 86 years old. Live as long as my grandparents. My grandparents, they lived, they lived into their early 90s. There ain't no guarantee of that. Can't go, can't go by that. No. Amen. Not at all. They can say, well, because I got see, people in my family live a long time, so I'm, I'm going to probably live a long time. No. It don't work, it don't work like that. And we're like that. My father didn't live no long time. He died in his early to mid sixties. Yes. He didn't live a long time. Amen. So you can't go by. Even though his mother and his grandmother lived lived to be ninety nine years old. Yeah. Yeah. That's you, the best yeah. Especially exactly. I, I tell you, like, yeah, yeah. If you disobey, remember this. You being disobedient to the will of God. Hallelujah. You're not loving your brother. That's part of being disobedient. Amen. That's right. Amen. You're, you're lying. Yes, Yahweh. You're holding grudges. Hallelujah. You got envy and strife in your heart. Yes, Lord. You better, you better, you better think. That's you better, right. you better rethink that. Amen. You better get that spirit out of you because you don't know, you don't know when. That's right. Hey, not, <laughs> look, when I told you about when you heard when you heard me testify, you heard me uh, and uh. A little bit of about Brother Odell. Brother Odell was not an old man. As a matter of fact, he was in his early 30s. Early 30s. Right around 32, 33 years old. And he's not here anymore. 
Disobedience. Disobedience. We, we, we better rethink the way we think. Hallelujah. Better because, because we don't know what God has, what, when our last day is coming. Amen. We know what God's plan is for us. Amen. Huh? So it's, it's up to us. It's up to us as a body, as, as a body, as a people, as an individual, to make sure that we adhere to a God's plan. Amen. Be obedient to His word, to His to His statute, to His commandments. Amen. Pound it in our heart. Amen. Time to get away. Time, time for us to get away from all foolishness. Amen. You gotta, we gotta, we gotta put that stuff down because it's because it's destroying you. Amen. Yeah, your, your, the way the way you talk. Yeah. Amen. When you think when you you, you find somebody, it, this this is how we do. Again, I've been there. Yes, y'all like. No, you you find somebody you think is like minded with you, and then you start talking. Yes. Amen. You get then because you you start getting a little bit too comfortable. Right. Amen. And you start saying some things. Start speak. Start Amen. speaking ill. Yeah. Amen. About your brother and your sister, right. you start, you start. Then, then about the word is going forth. Amen. Yeah. And then, you know, then you start talking about them. Why are they talking about me? Yeah. Why are they saying this and that? Yeah. And no names were called. Amen. Amen. But right. it's talking about the sin that you're doing, the wrong that you're doing, Amen. the disobedience that you're doing. That's what it's talking about. Yeah. Amen. Huh? We don't, we don't, we don't take a message out on anybody. We take a we take a message out on sin. Amen. We take a message about out on disobedience. Amen. Keep keep that in mind. It's not personal from me to you, but it's personal from God to you. In other words, He's trying to get you to act right. He's trying to He's trying to get you to step up and be what He wants you to be. Be a, to be the people that He's calling for us to be. Yeah, we, we, we have to be peacemakers in here. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Real quick. My time is getting away from me. Let's go over here to First Peter. Five. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this and want us to I'm gonna sit down. And I want everybody to understand what God is asking from each and every one of us from the pulpit on down. Because no matter what you may think about the bishops, we don't get away either. No, we don't. We, we have, we are being preached to, whoever's up here preaching, each and every bishop is being preached to, ministered to. Yahweh's Yahweh's telling us what we need to do. Yes, he is. We we don't. I'm a servant. Each and every bishop is a servant, just like we're all servants. Only thing is, you heard you've heard Apostle Watchings say this. It's just more on us. We have a little bit more responsibility Amen. because we're being charged That's right. to feed the flock, Amen. which you are, his people, to give you what you need. Amen. And if we come up short in that, that's going to that's gonna fall back on us. Hallelujah. And so it's very important. You understand? I don't want, I don't want your blood on my hands, so I have to do what the Spirit is telling me to do. That's right. Yeah. I mean, put my personal feelings aside. When my personal feelings is, uh, let them do what they want to do. I don't care. Right. Don't come up here and speak. These are my personal feelings. I'm talking about my personal feelings. Amen. I have to put all that stuff aside. Amen. 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 That's right. And I have to Amen. give, I, I have, and when I do step up here, I have to make sure that I give you the things that Yahweh yeah. wants you to have. I have to be. I make. I have to make sure that I'm led by the Spirit with every word that comes out of my mouth, with every step that I take. Yes, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the way he wants me to. That's why I'm going to love each and every one of you the way he wants me to. Even if I think y'all are disrespectful or, or you, you don't like me or you have a problem with me. When I say, when I, when I say that, I say, when I, if I think that, I just say, oh well. I make sure I show them love. They'll never know that I think that about them. Amen. Even if even if it is true, Amen. I'm gonna still show you love. Amen. Because my salvation is at stake. Amen. So I'm gonna do what I have to do to attain that salvation. Amen. Amen. Read. Likewise, you younger. Yes. Submit yourselves unto the elder. Yes, all of you be subject one to another. One to another. And be clothed with humility. We have to be humble. Amen. We have to be humble people. You can't, you can't let our so-called status or what we think is a status in the church uh, puff us up. And really, truthfully, it's not a status in the church, but some people think it is. There, 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 it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a levels or hierarchy in the, here in the church, but some people think it is. Because we all serving that same God. It's just that some people have more responsibilities than others. Amen. But that don't, that, don't, that don't mean we're better no, right. than, any, than anybody else. Right. 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 Is that some people have a little bit more fun. Yeah, it, exactly. The more you know, the more is required of you. Right. Prepare right. yourself for that. Yeah. Those who try to run away from it, because I tried to run away from it before, once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 just, just know it's, it's, it's not. It, sh it should not be. It should not be. That's right. And I say it should not be a respected person here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I'm not naive. I, I see that sometimes it is. Yeah. Even, up, even to the point where it depends on who's preaching. Yeah. I can see who tunes out and who tunes in. Right. Yeah. Shouldn't be like that because the, the, the words that are coming forth was coming from God. Hey, hey, if you gotta try this, try, try this one time and see what happens. Close your eyes <clears throat> and listen to the word. Hallelujah! And see if it has a, a bigger impact on your life. Because now you're not looking at who's speaking; you're just listening to the words that are being spoken. Hallelujah! Because when you see who's speaking, you 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 tend to want to pass. Judgment. Amen. Amen. Who is he? Right. Amen. Who is he to say that? Amen. I know all about him. Uh, I know how he was. Uh -huh. But when you forget, Amen. Yahweh uses everybody. Amen. He uses everybody. Amen. Amen. For your benefit. That's right. Amen. 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 Read and get ready to end. Yes, all of you be subject one to another. Yes. And be clothed with humility. For God, Yahweh resists the proud. Yes. And gives grace to the humble. Yes. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh. Do what? Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh. Read. That he may exalt you in due time. And that's what we have to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. We have to humble ourselves unto the mighty hand of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. You, know, you, know, you, know what's, you know what? one of the ways you can humble yourself? Love your brother and sister. Amen. Be in their form. Amen. Don't expect nothing in return. Amen. Don't look at what they can do for you. Right. Don't do something for somebody and then want them to want them to come up here and testify about uh, what they did for you. Right. Or want them to do something for a bishop and want them to come up here and preach about. I just want to thank Yahweh for that brother and sister. Be more humble than that. Don't, don't seek no glory, don't seek no recognition, but just do it because you love your brother. And that's what God wants from you. That's the right thing to do. Amen. Uh, he, 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 he's calling us, brothers and sisters, he's calling us to, to be more like what these scriptures are saying and more like what we say we are. So it's time, time, it's time for us to put down all that foolishness. Don't let, don't let, no, I, like, I, like this, I always did like that song with Sister Washington was saying, don't let, don't let the devil ride. Kick him out, make him foot it. 
Don't take him, but don't show for him around. Take him wherever he wants to go. Kick him out. Amen. Hallelujah. That's all y'all was giving me to uh, say, say tonight. I ask that you continue to pray for me and my family. That we continue to be what Yahweh is calling for us to be. In these last and evil days, and at this time, let's get ready to receive the next, next bishop. Let us all stand and rise and receive our beloved prophet Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Thank you, brother. Amen. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. We all can be seated. Is Yahweh good? All time. Is Yahweh good? All time. Amen. Yes, he is. I really want to thank Yahweh, first of all, for waking me up this morning, blessing me to be in the house. This, this night here, to be able to hear words commanded of him. So I thank Yahweh for the words that came forth through our beloved Prophet Jenkins. Amen. And the words that he shared with us all was definitely on time. And I truly thank Yahweh for this man here. That's a, that's a great change. I don't know about you, but that's a great change. Hallelujah. And I, my fellow prophet. Hallelujah. And I truly thank Yahweh for him. I see how, how he is truly anointed. Amen. And, and the spirit of Yahweh, who is son Yahshua the Messiah, is all on him. Amen. And uh, thank Yahweh for my father, Apostle Washington, who we all know at this moment here is in Mexico, accompanied by the two sisters, Sister Shanira and Sister Desiree. Amen. And we know that the work that's taking place out there is great. Amen. So my father said uh, he sent his love to the body Amen. and asked for the body to continue to pray for him yes, while they're out there. Amen. Amen. So it's very important that we take time out and, and, and pray for the men of God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Giving double honor also to Apostle Stanford as well as Apostle Hurley. Pastor Flores, and I truly thank y'all with all the other bishops that I'm blessed to labor among. Unworthy, but I'm blessed to labor among yes, in these last and evil days. Amen. And uh, the words that a prophet brought forth, you know, truly we, we have to examine ourselves. Yes, That's right. You know, every single one of us, we're striving to, to uh, move higher in this way towards perfection. Yes, right. And all that we're doing, we're, we're doing it because we want to be saved. And it's very important that we all walk worthy of their vocation, which we've been called in. Amen. Because we don't know the hour that you and I shall draw our last breath. Amen. 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 So, while you have the opportunity, seize it. Amen. Amen. Take advantage of it by doing the right thing. Yes, Lord. And when he shared uh, uh, as, far as, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> as far as death, how it comes. Amen. And, and he gave an example about the incident that happened out there in California. And I leaned over and shared with Apostle Stanford about the, the young lady that was 18 years old that was there. was that Saginaw, I believe. How a drunk driver just drove right through the neighborhood and through the bedroom and killed her. Amen. Amen. And that's it. It's over for you. Amen. Draw your last breath. It's over for you. After that, judgment. Said that, said he that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. And right now, we're alive. We're kicking. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But yeah, we still been judged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Under the point that they going to come where we going to die. Huh? Amen. We're going to be judged. Amen. Amen. But when he said that, I thought about something. And I kind of laughed. I remember that there was a day where I was about maybe 17, 16, 17, maybe 18 years old. And I went to a party. Hallelujah. Came home and. And it was people that we would spend our time with. My sister, Sister Nicole, John Jr. and all that. I was so eager to get to the house and tell my sister what just happened. I went to a party. So-and-so was there, so we in the room. I called myself whispering. So-and-so was there. Yeah, I did this, did that. My father come into the room. He go over there to the window. Pulled out a tape recorder. <laughs> my heart dropped my sister heart dropped hmm? it's on tape hallelujah huh? so he, he was just playing with us a little joke he got a little tape recorder you know just put it in the room just playing with us hallelujah I'm full of sin hallelujah <laughs> heart dropped 
I look at her, she look at me. Even though I told her, you on your own, brother. I didn't go, even though she wanted to. She didn't go. He pushed play on it. He couldn't hear it was mum. Uh, it was, I was whispering a little too low. And he said, oh, I thought I got you. And he walked on, walked on out the room. What the fear that was invoked, amen, and the relief, hallelujah, that he didn't hear what I said and what I did, but there's someone that do know, amen. hallelujah, hallelujah. Huh? there's someone, see, I, I, I escaped the whooping that day, hallelujah, but the point is, the moral is, is that we never know, hallelujah, when is your time to go, amen, amen. so why play with this thing? You have the opportunity to do it the right way. Yeah. Amen. Come on and do it the right way. You have the opportunity to love your wife and love your husband. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Do it the right way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So that came to my mind when you said that. I just had to laugh a little bit. But nonetheless, you know, truly, you say, we have to be serious about this thing. Yeah. I thank Yahweh also for my beautiful wife. Amen. And the children that he blessed us with. You know, today we uh, was a little late and sent a Marco, uh, Marco uh, but a text out to the, the bishops. We had to go to a um, sneak a peek with the, the children meet their teachers. Hallelujah. And I wanted to go because, you know, we wanted to enforce, amen, what we believe. You know how they are in school and all that. Amen. So we wanted, I, I wanted to enforce how we believe. And so, of course, the teacher called yesterday was saying that nah, this is Miss So-and-so. I'll be Harvey's teacher. And are we having a sneak a peek, sneak peek, sneak attack? <laughs> sneak peek. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Thursday at yeah. six or seven, amen. Come on out and bring the supplies that your son needs and this and that and the other. And so I said, okay, I said, well, here's my son right here. Baby Lee, you want to uh, say hi to your teacher? And he said, yes, came over. Hey, Harvey, how you doing? He said, I'm blessed. And she laughed. You know, children don't speak like that yeah. of the world. He said, I'm blessed. Amen. So we said, yes, ma'am, we'll be up there. So we got on dress and went on up there. Amen. I went as, as, as you see me now. Eyes, everybody looking. See my wife with her head covering on dress and all of that. It was hot out there. We had our modest pearl on. Amen. We walk in like we own the school. Go on to the classroom and the teacher, she looked at us. And she said, y'all must be the parents. Amen. Of Harvey. Hallelujah. She said, you must be the parents of the young man that said, I'm blessed. I can see it on y'all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I can see it on y'all. Yeah. Amen. If you're going to do this thing, you better be serious. Because we are the light of the world. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I said, we are the light of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You better not be ashamed of this gospel. Yeah. If you be ashamed of it, he'll be ashamed of you. Yeah. Hallelujah. So she began to tell us what we need to do in there, showing them things, that and other. So... Well, uh, of course, she was tending to some other matters. Hallelujah. And so I'm right there with my, with my son, and uh, uh, my, my, my wife beat me to the punch. She was over there talking to the teacher. Amen. Telling them this is how we believe. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what we stand for. Yes, Lord. We don't believe in these holidays. Uh -huh. Amen. There's a counselor here that is his cousin that believes the exact same way that we believe. Yeah. Whenever these events come up, please, is it possible? If you can't give them anything else to do that's outside of what we teach, amen, with how we believe, send them to the counselor office. Amen. 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 See, it's very important that we as, as, as parents, hallelujah, 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 huh? hallelujah, that we stand up and we be a light and be an example in our own household for our children. Amen. Say that you should train a child up in the way that he should go, amen. And when he is old, hallelujah. He would not depart from it, but you have to start somewhere. You have to start training. Amen. The other day, I can't remember what Bishop spoke about it. It was something Tuesday. Amen. I was speaking about the input or the behavior or the conduct, the life that one brings in the house of Yahweh. Don't you know it rub off on your children? Amen. Hallelujah. If you don't set the perfect example on how you should be, your children are going to grow and be just like you. Yeah. They said that the apple ain't too far, if it don't fall too far from the tree. I think about Evangelist Childers. He's not here this, this night. He always will. He'll be here working. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we all acknowledge him to be a spiritual-minded man. Yes. 
Huh? I've seen him take time out with his boys and, and he read and he open up the word. Uh, hallelujah. Huh? He, he get up here and he sing and they get up here and sing. But there was a time in his life. Now, outside of the spiritual, we, I'm going to talk about the natural. Where he didn't want to do certain things. Ezra had to open up his mouth and say something. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your children, they see how you are. They able to point out and address certain things about you. Amen. And if you're not, if you're not careful, they can become just like you. Hallelujah. Amen. They can, they can become just like you. Amen. So he heard as far as how he should get down and roll around with him. Play with him. Amen. So he began to do all of that. We as parents, we got to stand up and do the right thing. Whether it's natural. Um, whether it's spiritual. Hallelujah. Whether it's natural, whether it's spiritual. That's right, that's right. Amen. Amen. So at this time, I'd like to call everyone's attention to Titus chapter 2. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, this water show is good. <laughs> the first verse. Yes. Titus 2 and 1. For it's written. But speak to you the things which are fitting for sound doctrine. Ah, uh, you better learn to talk a certain way. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Apostle Paul, he's addressing, preparing Timothy. Amen. Yeah. Titus here, rather. Uh, he said, but speak thou the things which, which become, fitting. huh? Which become sound doctrine. Amen. Huh? You better speak the right things. Right. Amen. Yeah. You better, if you ain't started, you better begin. You better start. Amen. If you haven't started, Amen. You better start speaking the things that become sound doctrine. Right. And my wife, we have to open up to them. We open up our mouth the things that are pertaining to sound doctrine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As parents, you got to stand up and, and, and lift up, up, up an example. Hallelujah. To help your family. Hallelujah. It said, but speak now the things which become sound doctrine. Amen. That the aged men be sober. He said that the aged men be sober. See, it first start with us. Hallelujah. I'm not an aged man, but I can be aged in spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Yahweh uh, uh, decided to make me a prophet. Amen. Amen. I can be aged in spirit. So it's it going to start with the leaders of the church here. Amen. Amen. It starts with the leaders here. That's what the, what the word has been going forth a lot lately about the leaders of the faith. Amen. That the aged men, we be sober. Amen. Hallelujah. Be sober. Someone that can think things through. Huh? Address things with a spiritual uh, a mindset. Sober-minded. Hallelujah. I, I look at Pastor Biggs, amen, and I see a great change in him. Apparently, the, the, this pastor here, hallelujah, is beginning to think soberly, sober-minded. Hallelujah. Having the same spirit as other bishops. Amen. Don't you know that we all should have the same spirit? Every single one of us is supposed to have the same spirit. Said, what should make you different from one another? Huh? When he said that there is one faith, hallelujah, there's one baptism, and there's, that's what? One spirit, hallelujah, there's one body. We all supposed to be the same in here? What's going to make you different for one another? Amen. Amen. That the aged man, that we be sober. Amen. It's very important, brethren, hallelujah, that we take this mind that the Messiah had. Because we, we have a lot of people that look up to us. We, we have to be able to approach situations with spiritual judgment. Yeah. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Not based off emotions. Right. Hallelujah. Some things were said Tuesday was based off emotions. Not here, but in, in, in Lubbock. Amen. You got to think sober-minded. When you're addressing the people, hallelujah, and you're going forth, you got to think sober-minded. That which is going to edify the people. Amen. Not discourage them. Amen. Amen. Our walk can discourage, our speech can discourage people. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That the aged man be sober minded. Amen. Uh huh. Devout. Devout. Temperate. Uh, devout. You better be serious. Amen. 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 Grave. You better have a humbleness, a, a spirit about you. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be you serious about this thing, your walk gonna stay correct. That's right. It don't matter if you have a title or not. That's why Yahweh gave me that dream. Hallelujah. I had a dream. and I, I said Yahweh gave me that dream because it's very important. It's real easy to allow a gift to cause you to be heady and high-minded. Hmm? Puffed up. 
before I was even ordained, hallelujah, I allowed my state as a son to Apostle Washington to, uh, to make me think that I was going to be the first one to be ordained. Huh? Just because I, 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 I'm the first son. <laughs> yeah, the first woman. Uh, the heir. I'm the first son. Huh? Hallelujah. I'm, I'm entitled. Amen. But Yahweh gave me that dream. And I'll share it again with those that probably didn't hear it. Huh? The dream I had that Prophet Jenkins was in it and there was a sister that held the title. Amen. And the spirit began to reprove and rebuke him. And because they had a title, they felt the need to justify themselves. Um, because they felt as though that they obtained, that they knew because they held the title. Yeah. Usually when you have title, you, 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 you direct people. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. You direct people. So since you have that, that, that authority, amen, they felt as though that they, 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 they had it all. Hallelujah. Um, but the spirit rebu rebuked them in a dream. I'm saying that you can never be too high. Amen. Amen. Uh, you can never be too high. No matter the gift that you have to receive instructions from the most high. Hallelujah. Uh, so you have to be grave. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to be humble minded. Because we're, we're, we're constantly growing in the grace and the knowledge of Yahshua the Messiah. Yes, read it. Temperate. Temperate. Sound in faith. Have some self restraint. Have some control. Amen. Hallelujah. To have some control. Apostle Paul said, All things are lawful unto me. Amen. He said, But all things don't edify. Amen. Everything is, it doesn't, it's not expedient. It don't do you good. If you don't have no restraint, man of God was talking to a bitch about there. Yes. I mean, he wanted to run to that scripture. Amen. Because the Spirit has been crying out about what he needs to do. Once, let me tell you something. Whenever the Spirit points something out about you, huh? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? When the Spirit points something about you, Amen. You better follow it. Amen. It's not time to say what is lawful. Amen. When the Spirit points something about you, but the Spirit see that you allow this thing to destroy you. Amen. Some of us don't have no 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 constraint, no willpower. Amen. It's not a sin to drink, but if you keep getting drunk, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Said a, a, a little wine to ease the belly, Hallelujah. But you you want to got to pop two or three open every day. Right. Right. You can't you 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 can't wind down without cracking one open. Amen. 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 You got to crack one open up in the morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It's not for you. Amen. You, you, you don't have a, 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 a temperate spirit. Uh, so so he, was, he was running behind and saying, well, it ain't nothing wrong with playing the game. He said it is for you. When the spirit says a sin, it may not be for uh, 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 Pastor Riddle over there. Hallelujah. He's not a pick, it, uh, pick it up and put it down. Yeah, you turn it into an idol. You allow it to consume you. We all know what that stuff is in our life. The spirit pointed out and consume it. Want you to utterly destroy. It. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But it starts with the age men. Uh, we got to show them how to how to be temperate. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe at one time y'all was saying a brother had an issue with drinking. Hallelujah. Uh, y'all weren't gonna mess up the fellowship because his weakness behind it. So you got crafty. You got wise. Amen. Uh, you, you got wise and you took the alcohol and you put it outside the house. So when he began to ask and say, hey, do you have any wine here? Hallelujah. You can say, no, I do not have any in the house. <laughs> Amen. For his sake. You see, the age will teach you how to be temperate. The age will teach you how to be sober minded. The age will teach you how to be great. Hallelujah. But first, the age must do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, what's the point of teaching? Sharing, telling somebody, but you yourself refuse to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, read it. Sound in faith. He said, sound, sound in faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. You better be sound in your faith. Uh, you better be unremovable in your faith. Hallelujah. Sound in faith. Amen. Uh, some of our faith is questioned at times. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you can see it. Hallelujah. On the pulpit, from the pulpit on down. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. It protrudes from your mouth. Hallelujah. Your behavior. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The yes, things Lord. that you choose not to do when it comes down to following the Spirit. Yes. Yes. Uh, the Spirit says something to you, but you don't want to line up to it. Amen. 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 Sound and faith. You sit there and you nod your head, yes. Right. Amen. Right. 
Hallelujah. We say amen and hallelujah. Amen. But it said sound in faith. Your faith better be sound. Hallelujah. It, 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 it better be true. It better be true. Yes, read it. In charity. He said in charity. And patience. There go that love again. There go problem. Hallelujah. In charity. Yeah. You have to have love. Hallelujah. You have to know, know how to forgive. Amen. You got to know how to implement it when you don't want to implement it. Hallelujah. Charity. Amen. Yes. And patience. And in patience. You have to have some patience. I've learned. Hallelujah. Uh, it seems as though uh, within the past two months, Yahweh has been gifting me, hallelujah, for more charity, uh, more patience, hallelujah, more charity and more patience. Sister uh, Selena is on her way to service, Yahweh's will. She came all the way from Odessa. She texted me over there a picture of her stuck in traffic, hallelujah, with a sad face. I said, I said Yahweh gifting you with patience, and hallelujah. So you got to see uh, 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 how the spirit wants you to see Amen. Other than that, you're going to find yourself complaining. Amen. You find yourself troubled. Hallelujah. Um, but once again, it starts with the age. The leaders here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, read it. The age women likewise. And the age women likewise. They be in behavior. The age women likewise. Amen. Uh, you too. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The age men do it first. The, the age women, they going to do it second. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They can look to the stronger vessel. Amen. Considering that they are the weaker vessel. Amen. They would do it too. Yes, read. That they be in behavior. That they be in behavior. Has become holiness. As becoming what? Holiness. Amen. How do you hear that age, women? Amen. How do you a supervisor that consider you age? And the spirit acknowledge you to be a mother. Amen. Huh? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You, you a woman supervisor? Amen. Huh? Amen. Whether you uh, 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 29, hallelujah, are you 40, are you 60? He said you should be a behave yourself as women that become what? Holiness. Holiness. Amen. That's what's protruding out of the house of Yahweh. Amen. Some of us, we don't take this serious enough. Yes, Lord. That's, right. um, that's why things go the way that they go. How you shared it. Yes, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We look, we look to others to take care of things. You a woman supervisor, you supposed to be teaching. Amen. Hallelujah. You supposed to be teaching. Yes, yes. yes read it. And they be in behavior as to come holiness. Uh-huh. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. And be careful with that. Amen. Hallelujah. You sisters, y'all get together to the talking. Hallelujah. And before it's all over with, y'all done added so much to the story of falsely accusing somebody. Based off one thing that you didn't like, that, that was truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it just bothers us too much. You get so tired of being sick and tired, as you say. Amen. And then you begin to false accuse. Amen. Amen. You begin to formulate, fabricate a lie. Amen. Amen. Off of what you've seen and heard. Yes. Or how you felt. Amen. Yes, read it. Not giving too much wine. And not giving too much wine. Amen. Amen. Take it. Start there. Now you drink a little bit and you lose your wits. You get loose, that tongue get loose. Hallelujah. So you also have to be temperate with the wine, sister. Amen. Huh? You got to be temperate with the wine. Amen. <laughs> yes, read it. Teachers of good things. And because you're supposed to be teachers of good things. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so that the Spirit has something to say to the aged men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To, in order to help these brothers here, we have to do something. Amen. And the Spirit has something to say to the aged women. In order to help the sisters in here, you also have to do something. Amen. How many of you aged women, you take time out with these sisters and see if they truly being chase keepers of their house? Amen. Hmm? Amen. How to be, truth be told, many of the sisters in here are not as virtuous as they think they are. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, I know it hurt. It's a touchy topic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Sisters are not as virtuous as they as they think they are. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. You know there's qualifications, things that make you virtuous. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, giving a testimony, Amen. It, it just don't stop there. Amen. Having a song, working that sound booth, they don't stop there. Hmm. Hallelujah. 
making a Marco Polo of one room that you clean. Hallelujah. Don't make you virtuous. There's things that, 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 that creates a virtuous woman. So how many of you sisters, y'all take time out to get with these sisters? Amen. Amen. This is where the age women come in. You women supervisors, you come in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and go to house to house, checking on the houses. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. You said that the, the sister and the brother was shocked that they were there. They were shocked when I dropped them off when I went out there. She was, he was embarrassed. Of course, she was gone. Hallelujah. For a week and came home, her husband. Destroyed the house. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, but this time, she wasn't gone for a week. <coughs> Don't blame it on your husband. You there. Hallelujah. We, we, we get crafty at times. You there. Somebody come knocking on your door. You take forever to unlock it. Hear you scrambling. Amen. Just a, just a second. I got to get dressed. Take you 20 minutes. Amen. Mm -hmm. It said, teachers of good things that they may teach the young women to be sober. Huh? Because the young women, you have to be sober minded. Amen. Huh? To love their, their husbands. Husband. So you also have to think a certain way. Amen. It said, to love their husband. Amen. Amen. Some of you sisters, y'all don't love y'all husbands the way that y'all should. Amen. Amen. Spirit, get time to I deal with the husband. Amen. Mom, but uh, 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 you wives, some of y'all don't love y'all husbands. According to the gospel here. Amen. Hmm? David said that a virtuous woman is a crown unto her husband. Amen. But she that maketh the shame is as rottenness unto his bones. Amen. That's the behavior of some wives. Amen. He can't speak about you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He can't stand before the body and testify about you being a virtuous woman. Amen. A virtuous wife because you don't do it. Amen. Hmm? Amen. This generation here is something else. Hallelujah. I said this generation here, my generation. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Are lazy. Hallelujah. Sad thing about it, some, most of them don't even work. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Refuse to keep the house clean. Amen. Yes. Amen. Don't have a job. Refuse to keep the house clean. Amen. 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 Blame it on the kids. Refuse to, 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 to uh, take time out and cook for your Lord. He come home, he got to do the cooking, he got to do the grocery shopping. Amen. Yes, sir, Apostle. I'd like to take time out to thank Yahweh for my wife because she's truly a virtuous wife. And, um, you know, whenever we first got married, as I preached often, we, did, it, we didn't start out this way. So I'm only saying that just to say that Yahweh in the church and being in Yeshua's church actually does something if you... If you put your heart to it and listen to these words that are going forth and you say, this is nothing personal. Yahweh just wants me saved. Then I'm, I can make these changes and become that virtuous or chase keeper in the house or a virtuous husband, virtuous wife. My wife, she keeps the house clean. And I truly thank Yahweh for my wife. Amen. Amen. And we see a great change in y'all relationship. But you've been testifying more and more about it. Amen. 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 I'm seeing it. Amen. So the thing is, the part of being virtuous, a virtuous woman, is that your desire is to your Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it should be your desire huh, to be virtuous. It says, speak that things which become what? Sound doctrine. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not a, pop, I'm not a Mother Washington. Huh? Right. I, I'm not Mother Kathy. Amen. Amen. I'm not Mother Renee. I'm not Mother uh, 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 Standifer. You better speak the things that become sound doctrine. Don't you know that that's part of your holiness? Yes. Part of your righteousness to be saved? Yes. Yes. Every sister here should have a desire to be virtuous. Yes. Every sister, hallelujah, that should be your desire, amen? amen. Right? To be a virtuous woman. Hallelujah. You should seek that, amen? amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You gotta want it. You have to want it. Amen. Amen. See, every brother, he don't have the desire to be a bishop. Right. Mm -hmm. But you, if you married, you better, you better have a desire to be a virtuous woman. Amen. 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 That's so right. 
Amen. Yeah, you better have a desire to be a virtuous woman. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to be held accountable. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Amen. Your state as a wife. Amen. Your state as a mother. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. Lord. He said that they may teach the young women to, to be, be sober. sober. Because some of you young sisters, y'all not sober enough. Sober minded Amen. enough. Amen. 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 You don't truly think about the state of your family. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's why you age women, y'all come in. You have to take time out. Amen. Hallelujah. And sit down with them. Amen. Amen. Open up their understanding the importance of this thing yes. here. Yes. You young women supervisors, y'all got to do it. Amen. 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 Anyone that holds a title should be the first one doing this thing. Amen. 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 Just as uh, my father said, I ain't ordain y'all bishops just to, to, to do nothing. Hallelujah. We ain't acknowledge you as women supervisors to not do nothing. Yeah. How are you going to uh, 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 teach uh, 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 Sister uh, 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 um, Samantha how to clean her house? You a young woman supervising, you refuse to clean yours. Amen. You can't call your own husband, Lord. Amen. 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 That the young women be sober. To love their husbands. To love their husbands. To love their children. Huh? To love their children. I thank Yahweh for my wife. Yes, now hear my testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. I say I thank Yahweh for my wife. My wife truly loves me. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 All that makes her existence. Amen. 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 It's prompted by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So she would never get in the way of the work of the ministry when it comes down to me being involved. Hallelujah. She, she learned it from somebody. Amen. A testimony she heard Mother Washington speak. Amen. We heard Mother Washington's testimony. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, she didn't like it too much that my father got to be gone that long. It first started out with a week. Then it started to two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Amen. Then month, month and a half. Hallelujah. She got flesh on. She said, but she'd rather die. Amen. Before she get in the way of the work of the ministry. What's taking for take? If I'm going to be a problem. Remove me from the situation. Amen. See, that's somebody that's sober-minded. When you're not sober-minded, all you think about is yourself. That's what makes you slowful. Hallelujah. That makes that makes you unthankful, unappreciative. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And when every single one of you, Hallelujah, should have the mentality, Amen, to be just like Sarah. Matter of fact, he said that whose daughter are ye, hallelujah, if you what? If you do well. Huh? You better examine yourself. Are you the daughter of Sarah? Huh? Are you the daughter of what? Jezebel. Amen. I don't have makeup on, but Jezebel didn't honor uh, her husband. She got in the way of her husband. She told him what to do. Hallelujah. Don't you know when you don't line up with the spirit? Amen. Listen, you know when you don't line up with the spirit? Hallelujah, you got a husband that's going to be patient with you. That's like you telling them what to do. Right. I didn't say nothing. You being, you being slowful, that's like you telling them what to do. Yes. Amen. Huh? When you don't want to cook for them, that's like you telling them what to do. I'm not cooking for you. Right. When you refuse to keep the house clean, amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. That's like you telling them what to do. Yes. So what's easier to say? Hallelujah. Right. Yes, read it. To be discreet. To be discreet. Chaste. Huh? To be modest. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To be what? Chaste. Chaste. Keep us at home. Keep us at home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again, if you have a desire to be a virtuous wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. A virtuous wife, she elevates her husband. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. It make him shine. It's like a crown unto him. Huh? He better walk with pride. Amen. Say, I, I got a good thing here. She elevates her. You have a desire to be a virtuous woman. Amen. Huh? You're going to be a chase keeper of the house. Huh? You attend to the matters of the house. You quit saying that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. You learn. Hallelujah. You learn. That's a chase keeper. You learn. You got to get off your lazy behind and do something. Amen. You think my mother was born that way? My father shaped her. Yes. 
See, some of you wives, y'all don't want to be shaped by your husband. They take time and try to show you the things you don't want to do. You're lazy. Amen. Hallelujah. It's not rocket science. Amen. It's being a chase keeper of the house. Amen. Amen. It is right. Amen. Amen. Doing Yahweh's will. Amen. Yes, sir. My wife, she 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 take good care of me. Amen. Um, in a few years that uh, uh, we was in the house with my mother, and my father, she learned from my mother. Uh -huh. um, I've seen her; uh, she cooking and she got Eliana in one arm, and amen. And she's staring if she see my mother do it. Yeah. Huh? She getting quiet. The aged woman showed her how to do it. Amen. 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 You got these hips? Put it right here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Put it right here. Yeah. How she get the vacuum cleaner and she going room to room with Eliana in her hand. Baby Lee, hold on. I'll be there in a second. My, my, my wife is so, so virtuous to me, amen, that she refused to cook anything uh, 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 without asking me what I want. I'm like, Lord, I appreciate the virtuousness of you, but baby, you can just cook something. I eat it. But she want to cook what I want. What I want. Not what she want. What I want. Amen. And she's the baby with <laughs> the baby about it. You know, baby, what you want? Baby, just cook anything. But 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 what? Anything. <laughs> but what? Anything. <laughs> you sure you don't want chicken, baby? I can eat anything. You sure you don't want pork chops, baby? I eat anything. <laughs> but she wanna she she wanna please me. Amen. She understand that her desire is my desire. Amen. 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 I have a virtuous wife. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. But she that maketh of shame, hallelujah. hallelujah. The things that you choose to do. Amen. Yes, sir. You know, you're a ruin to his spirit. Amen. The things that you won't come up to. Amen. Yes, Amen. He got to keep being patient with you. Amen. That's what we're supposed to do. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. What's that? Give me Psalms um, 31 and 10. I believe David said something of that nature. As far as how happy the husband would be um, when he don't have to spoil her. Amen. In other words, the, in the, the keep peace, he got to do everything that you want. Let's see here. I'm sorry, Proverbs. When I say 31, Proverbs 31 10. There we go. <laughs> Proverbs 31 and 10 Yes for uh -huh. Who can find a virtuous woman Who can find a virtuous woman Amen Who can find them Amen. That's a rare breed yes. You can only find them in the house of Yahweh Amen. I think about my cousin He want a virtuous woman He ain't gonna find it out there He's shacking up with one But he ain't gonna find it out there He's trying to implement the qualities huh, of his mother, which she received in the house of Yahweh, yeah. hmm, right. into the woman that he's with. Yeah. Right. You're not going to find it out there, cousin. No. Amen. Amen. Who can find a virtuous Amen. what? Woman. Oh, Who can find a virtuous woman? Amen. Uh-huh. For a price of, is far above rubies. A price is far above rubies. That's something that's priceless. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's something that's precious. If you have one, Amen. So, you know, don't you want to be that? Don't you want to have that desire to be worth more than rubies? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh? For, for your husband to see you as such? Amen. But that's something that you're going to have to do. That's right. He go out there, he work hard. Yeah. Hmm? Right. He work hard, long hours. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And you allow his pay, you take his patience for kindness, if you will. Yes. Ah, he just want to cook. Because you ain't going to do it. My husband loved me. Yeah, you're right. He sure do love you. Yes. Amen. Because you refuse to do anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. The heart of her husband does safely. The trust heart of a her. husband doth safely trust, trust in her. her. Some of us as husbands can't trust our wives. Right. 
They don't have a desire to want to be virtuous. Amen. Amen. That's right. When my mother understood this, she took the time out to learn the, the things of a virtuous wife. She took time out to learn how to pay the bills. Amen. She took time out to budget and know what to buy and what not to buy. She took time out to go grocery shopping. She didn't leave it up to my father. My father wanted to. He did it. Amen. I don't know, but, 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 but he wasn't obligated. Y'all are obligated as a chase keeper. Amen. That's your duty. Amen. Hmm? That's how husband, we have our duty. We give our money to you. Amen. Oh, yeah. We work and we, we give the money to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's something that you also have to do. Yeah. But you gotta be, you gotta stop being so um uh, uh, dependent, amen. amen. And learn how to take care of your family. Yeah. That's part of the salvation. Learn how to take care of your family. You don't know how to do it, get with the age women. Amen. The age woman will show you how to do this thing. Don't be so full of pride where you can't ask for help. Hallelujah. You want to be virtuous. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Every husband can testify about our wives. But I, I tell you this. About three-fourths of us cannot testify that our wives are virtuous. That's right. That's right. Yes, read it. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her. Uh-huh. So that he... So that he shall have no need of spoil. So he has what no need. He can trust her. Yes. Amen. I don't know. He, he can trust her to do the right thing with the finances. Amen. 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 He can trust her to do the right things with the finances. Hallelujah. 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 Huh? Amen. 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 Even if he got a teacher, there's a lot of things that my mother learned from my father. Amen. 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 He taught her. Amen. But she had a desire to want to take that role. She wanted to be virtuous. Uh, she heard it. She said, I want to be a daughter of Sarah. Amen. Not Jezebel. Amen. Amen. To the point that she went into houses. Hallelujah. Huh? And she told other sisters how to do it. She go in there and wash your dishes. When you want to be lazy. Hallelujah. She go in there and she wash your clothes. Showing how to, how to be a wife, how to do this thing. Amen. Didn't allow none of the kids to hold her back. My mother had me, my brother, and my sister. Yes. Hallelujah. We all was, were always at church on time. Amen. She took time out that evening to go take, take our clothes out. What are we going to wear the next day? Yes. Have it ironed. Hallelujah. So when it's time for service, you're not scrambling trying to figure out what you and your family going to wear. Amen. Amen. Huh? Get up early, amen, to feed the kids. That's what a virtuous wife does. Yes, That's what makes her priceless. That's, right. Hallelujah. That's what allows the husband to have a crown on his head. Yes. Amen. Proud of his wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. She would do him good. She would do him what? Good. good. She would do him good. And not evil. And not evil. Some of the decisions that you make. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you know what's evil unto him? Yes. Huh? Your husband have a title. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't you know that the decision that you choose to make is evil unto him? Amen. Hallelujah. When he Amen. when he want to uh, 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 he have a role and a position to play. Amen. That's evil unto him. Amen. If you don't have a desire of him, that's evil unto him. Yes, sir. Who can find a virtuous woman? Amen. The house of Yahweh Amen. Uh, Through his son Yahshua the Messiah here Amen, Amen. It makes him Amen. Amen. Hallelujah Amen. It makes him Amen. Yes read it She will do him good She will do him good And not evil all, and the, not days evil all the days of her life Amen Uh huh She seeks wool she, What? She seeks wool Uh huh And flax Yes And works willingly with her hands uh, see, see, she, she always have her hands involved She seeks the things that are important for her family Amen She's going to do that which is necessary for her family. Right. Not cripple it, amen. Yeah. Not enable it, but what's best for the family. Yeah. Yes, read it. She's like the merchant ships. Uh-huh. She brings her food from afar. Uh-huh. Amen. Yes. She rises also while it is yet night. She do what? She rises also while it is yet night. She, in other words, she rises early. Amen. Yeah. 
My mother till this day, hallelujah. I'm not in the house anymore. She ain't got no kids to take care of anymore. Uh, but she still has a husband. And she still rises up early, amen, and take care of her husband, her Lord. You see, you can't love sleep. You can't love slumber. And it's real easy to get that state, especially if you don't work. I got real lazy when I was in prison. That day they told me, this is your release date, Mr. Washington. I was happy and a little fearful at the same time. Because I knew that I was married. Because I married yes. Destiny in there. Yes, I got to go back to work. Yes. Not only that, I got to work hard. Yes. Uh, the 200%. Amen. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't do nothing for a long period of time. You get real lazy and complacent. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. And you're always asking somebody to do something for you. Yes. Right. Amen. Um, but a virtuous woman, she rises up early. Yes. Well, is yet night. I, I remember my wife, I, the days when I had to be at uh, Bimbo, me and Deacon Holloway being there maybe at 1 o'clock in the morning. She'll yes. get up. Yes. Hallelujah. And go in there and fix me something to eat. Hallelujah. Yes. she get up when I got to make sure her husband has something to eat. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, and then when I start doing the type of work that I'm doing now, making a long journey here or there, she'll still get up, cook yes. something, yes. pack a lunch. Hallelujah. She, ro she rose up. She got up. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Her desire is to her Lord. Hallelujah. She want to make me happy. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. You young women, huh? Think sober. Yes. Think soberly. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, read it. She rises also while it is at night. Uh huh. And gives and gives food to her household. And she do what? Gives food to her household. Well, how you gonna do that when you in the bed? Right. Huh? Man. How you gonna do that when you in the bed? Husband Amen. give you all the money. He ain't got no. He can't buy lunch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. How you gonna get up? Amen. Yes, read it. Yes. And a portion to her maidens. And say what? And a portion to her maidens. A portion to her maidens. Uh huh. She considers a field. She considers a field. And buys it. And buy it. With the food of her hands. Uh-huh. She plants a vineyard. Yes, Lord. She she girds her loins and with strength. Read it. And strengthens her arms. Uh-huh. She perceives that her merchandise is good. Yes, Lord. Her candle goes not out by night. Read it. She lays her hands to a spindle. See, she ain't afraid of work. Amen. 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 Huh? Yeah. Amen. Um, it's more money. You have laziness. You don't want to do nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How hard is it to take care of you? Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't saying I go get a job. Hallelujah. Right. I, I, listen to what I'm saying. I ain't saying you got, got to go get a job. Mother Rary don't have one, but she take good care of that house. Oh, yeah. uh, she see that as a job. She's she doing it well. Amen. Hallelujah. She's doing that well. Amen. Take good care of uh, Apostle uh, Standing from over there. Yes. My, my wife don't work. She take good care of me and the kids. Amen. Hallelujah. So that puts some of y'all to shame. Amen. Especially those that do work. I think amen. about my sister, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Sister Nicole. Yes. Amen. Yeah. amen. Right, man. Mm -hmm. amen. Jobs and businesses. Yes. Amen. Two jobs. I got two jobs. Two jobs. Mother got two jobs. Amen. You ain't missing no meals. Amen. I know mother had to take good care of you. So that she layeth her hands to the spindle. And her hands hold the fiber stick. Uh-huh. She stretches out her hands to the pole. Yes, or, Lord. She lay, she's not afraid of work, but you have the audacity. Amen. amen. Uh, to want to get upset with your husband based off the money that he make. Right. Hallelujah. Uh, yes. Won't you do a little bit of more? Won't you get a job? That'd be the case. Amen. Now, some of us would be very selfish. Yes. Don't want to work. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. amen. amen. Because you feel as though, okay, now you got to get a babysitter. They're going to take all your money. They might leave you with only two hundred dollars for the uh, for the month, but it's two hundred dollars that you didn't have. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. See, but the thing is, you got to stop finding excuses from what the Spirit is asking of you. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, read it. She stretches out her hands to the poor. Uh huh. Yes, she reaches she she reaches forth her hands to the needy. Yes. She's not afraid of the snow. Uh huh. For her household. Read it. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. Yes, read it. She makes herself coverings of tape tree. Uh huh. Her clothes is silk. Yeah, this uh, this virgin woman is doing a lot of things. Amen. Uh huh. She 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 seems very busy. Amen. Yes, read it. 
Her clothing is silk and purple. Uh huh. Her husband is known in the gates. You said her husband is known in the gates. Amen. How can he be known in the gates? You always make him late. Right. How, how can you how can be known in the gates when you always drag them everywhere? Amen. Drag them every birthday party. Yes. Every little small function. Hallelujah. That's why I, I have to uh, thank Yahweh for Sister Nicole when Brother Paul wanted to come up here. Amen. And fellowship that day. Amen. Uh, they had a, a fellowship out there in Farmers Branch swimming. Yes. Hallelujah. And I said, well, I'm going to go on up there and be with the brother. He wanted to, to fellowship to encourage him. Yes. And he weighed the matter out. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, and he knew the state of Brother Paul. How he come from uh, Mesquite, come to his house, want to fellowship. Yes. So he said, let me go on over here. And, but th get this, his wife understood. Yes. She said, amen, my Lord. Go on amen. and do what the Spirit is calling you to do. Yes. But some of you wives, y'all, drag your husband from here to there. Work all day. Yes. No, no pity. No compassion. Work all day. Hallelujah. Right. Drag them here, drag them there. Amen. Yes, Mother Captain. Right, right. Amen. I just wanted to share uh, something that uh, being young and coming into this way, uh, I was 28 and my Lord, uh, he was 29. And what I learned over the years is not to hinder him mm -hmm. from the work of the ministry because I told myself, if he do the work of the ministry and he love Yahweh, then he's not going to help but to love me. Yeah. And so I didn't stand in his way wanting him to put Yahweh first so he could know how to love me. Yeah. I want my husband to be like Apostle Washington. Well, do what Mother Washington is doing. My mother make things a whole lot easier for my father. Oh, yes. He wasn't going to let her stop him. Get, understand me? He ain't going to let her stop him. But she make, a, make things a whole lot easier for him. Yes. Because she has the right mind. The mind of a virtuous woman. Amen. 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 Yes, read it. Her husband is known, is known in the gates. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sits among the elders when of the land. When he sits among the elders of the land. She makes fine linen. She makes fine linen. And sells it. Uh-huh. And delivers girdles unto the merchant. Read it. Strength and honor are, are her clothing. Strength and honor are her clothing. This is what she adorned herself. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes, read it. And she shall rejoice in time to come. Uh-huh. She opens her mouth with wisdom. She opened her mouth with wisdom. And her tongue is the law. Uh -huh. Amen. She, she opened up her mouth with wisdom. Amen. I mean, she received wisdom in the house of Yahweh. She's hearing what's been said. Yeah. So that whenever she opened up her mouth, it, it, it helps, it aids. Right. It's wisdom, it's power that comes from, from it. When I think about Mother Washington, there was a testimony that Sister um, Deesa gave. And many of y'all thank Yahweh for Mother Washington. Amen. The wisdom that she had. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Because she took on that mindset to want to be virtuous. The Spirit is trying to see when y'all gonna learn that. So she was talking about, I thank Yahweh for, Amen. And I, I, I'm gonna hold on to a coattail and this yes. and that, but don't want to do what she's saying. Right. She, right. That's what you said. We all we talk the big talk, yeah. but when it's time to show those the, 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 those fruits right. of righteousness, yeah. of being a virtuous woman, being a spiritual minded man, a husband, yes. Yes. many of us do the opposite. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. You want wisdom to pour out? Come on now. Yes, Speak the things that become sound doctrine. Yes. Right. Read it. My time getting away. She op she opens her mouth with wisdom. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and then her tongue is a law of kindness. And her tongue is a law of kindness. She looks well to the ways of her household. She look what? Well to the ways of her household. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Yes. Hallelujah. Some of you sisters don't look to the need of your household. Amen. Amen. You don't. Hallelujah. Your husband had became the chase keeper because you don't want to do it. Yes. There was a time that Apostle Stanford, he testified of his wife, yes. how she refused to want to iron his clothes. Right. Amen. So he had to take, he did it for a while. Yes. Until she wrapped it, up, wrapped it up around her mind, wrapped her mind around it rather, to say, look, let me do what the Spirit is asking me. And she went over and she took it out of his hand. Amen. Hmm? She didn't give it back. Thinking about the wellness of a house. What can I do to benefit my household? Amen. What can I do to build it up? Yes, Amen. Amen. But you got to get up and do something. You got to stop being so lazy. Amen. Amen. This should be your desire. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You, should, you should. Every wife should be virtuous. Yes, Lord. Right. Amen. Yes, read it. She looks well to the ways of her household. Uh-huh. And eats not the bread of idleness. Mm-hmm. Her children will arise up. And it said her children will rise up. And call her blessed. Hallelujah. Once again. Huh? Yes. How can your children speak well of you? Amen. 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 When you refuse to do anything. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why me and my wife, we have to implement righteousness in our household. Amen. I look at my, my wife, how she was taking time out with, with, with our son. I was reading. I can hear her over there. Amen. And teaching him how he should be. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. He'll be able to call her blessed. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have a daughter. Amen. I said we have a daughter. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And it's going to grow up one day. And Yahweh see fit. She will marry. Yes. Yes. She's going to learn a lot of things from mother. Yes. And best believe we want her to learn the good. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. The good not, and, and, and not the bad. So my wife, she in there, she clean. She cook. She hate when I get to touch and stuff. She find offense in it. Hallelujah. I said she find offense in it. She'll come on over there and take it out of my hand. It hurts sometimes. She said, she, this is what she said. She said, this is my job, my Lord. And I said, baby, I don't mind. I, I can sweep that. I can wipe that. But she don't want me to do it. Right. Because she honors me. Amen. She take it out of my hand. She saw my mother do it with my father. Yes. This is where she learned it from. She didn't uh, receive it from her mother. Amen. She received it from my mother. Amen. Yes, read it. Mm -hmm. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also. And her husband also. You want your husband to praise you? Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you want to, you want your husband to speak of you like Apostle uh, Hurley just did with his wife? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How I spoke about my wife, how Prophet Jenkins speak about his. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. How Apostle Stanford uh, speak about his. Oh, yeah. huh? You want to be uh, uh, praised? Uh, you yeah. want to be called blessed? You got to do something. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Love yeah. the title, but don't want to do nothing. And that's what we're trying to implement with a bishop out there. Yeah. It's more to it than just the title, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to do something, sir. Yeah. Yes. Your works got to follow. Yes, yes. That's right. Your works got to follow, sister. Amen. Amen. Yes, Sister Reese. Praise Yahweh. Um, that's where um, I was thinking about with my daughter in laws and how I've been trying to teach them, and I go and and how I'm not really instruct them, like get on to them, but how I show them. Like when I was there, I showed them how to have Trace sit down and eat at the table and That's how right. to clean up and, and do that and, and do it in peaceful to where she joined in and she learned a lot. Because like with me, I came to church, I didn't ever iron. My mom said throw it in the dryer, let it go, and then that's it. And so I didn't know that till Mama Brenda showed me. But Mama Brenda would come over and actually show me how to do things around my house. Yeah. yeah so you have to present your body, amen, That's to right. be uh, uh, virtuous. It's a sacrifice. Yes, it is. It's a sacrifice. I know you don't want to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Husband don't want to work hard all the time either. Amen. All right, Dizzy. Dizzy had a long day yesterday. Long day. And first stop, he got there at 7. And he didn't get home to 12 o'clock in the morning, midnight. Long day yesterday. Hmm? But, we, but, we, but we do what we need to do for our household. Amen. Hmm? That's why it don't matter to us how, uh, how long we work, how hard we may work. When you really get this thing in, you stop complaining about it. You thank Yahweh for the hours. Yahweh bless you with some extra money. Amen. Huh? Um, but I said, I beseech you, therefore, brother, um, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you yeah. present your bodies a living sacrifice. You got to present that thing, yeah. uh, a, li a living sacrifice, yeah. holy and acceptable yeah. unto God. He's ex he, look, yes. in order for him to receive it, it better be holy. Yeah. Yes. It said, which is your reasonable service. Yeah, it's your reasonable. You're supposed to be virtuous. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Right, Husband, you're supposed to be sober minded. Yeah. Right. Hmm? Yes. And be transformed by the renewing of your mind, yes. huh? Right. That, that, that you may what prove that which is good yes. and acceptable, yes. perfect will of God. Yes. Right. If this if this word finding you, you have some proving to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! If the word is finding you, have some proving to do. Oh, yeah. That's right. Apostle uh, Peter said, "Make your election sure." Sure. That's right. You, if you've been called in here, if you've been called in here, you better make your election sure. 
Mm, because if the righteous scarcely be saved, yeah. hallelujah, you ain't making your election to this. The, the, the whole reason you've been called here. Hallelujah, you not sure about how you walking? Mm. That's right. That's right. dangerous ground. Hallelujah. That's dangerous ground. Amen. That's right. And that's why we come into the house of Yahweh so our walk can be judged. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Oh Lord, forgive me. I've been slow for there. I'm going to seize the opportunity. Amen. So today is a day of salvation. I heard what you said to me, Lord. Yes, Lord. I heard the word. Amen. From this moment forward, I'm going to go ahead and do what the Spirit's been instructing me to do. I'm going to stop being lazy. Hallelujah. I'm going to get up and work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better make your election sure. Yeah. That's right. We come in the house of Yahweh and we get real comfortable. Yes, man. We'll get real comfortable. Yes, right. Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 Every sister that's married, yes. hallelujah, every sister that's married can be virtuous. Amen. Right. Every man, husband yes. that's married, hun, can be loving Amen. and not yes. bitter. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. But first, you have to speak the things that become sound doctrine. That's right. That's right. You got to speak this, speak into an existence, into a, is it, uh, in existence. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May y'all well, let's finish it out. I only got about a few verses. Go ahead. Her children arise up. Her children arise up and call her blessed. And call her blessed. You want the children to call you blessed? Amen. Um, Amen. Right. Show them something. Right. Amen. Amen. Show them something. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Read it. Her husband also. Her husband also. You want your husband to call you blessed? Yeah. Uh, you want him to stop wrestling with spirits? Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Stop causing him to wrestle with spirits. Yeah. Show him something. Yeah. Amen. Yes, yeah. read it. And he praises her. And he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously. He said, Many daughters have done virtuously. Amen. Uh huh. But you ask them not. All. But thou excellest them all. Amen. Huh? If you're doing this thing the right way, see, some of y'all think you've done virtuously. Yeah. Huh? Yes. But though those that are truly doing this thing, you excel. Though, see, some of us we think that we're doing the right thing. Right, right. We think we all right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, because your husband don't complain. <laughs> your husband don't say nothing. Right. Or your wife don't say anything. Yeah. Don't worry, the spirit fights the battle for you. Yeah. The spirit will call it out. Hallelujah. Yeah. You, you, if she don't want to do it, you keep on doing it till she come on up. Hallelujah. She don't want to take care of the house the way the Spirit is calling. You keep on doing it till she come on up. Amen. Well, remember, once again, the word said that there'll be two in the bed. Amen. I want to be taken, want to be left. Yes. She don't want to come up. There'll be two in the bed. Yes. Yes. She might be saved, but you'd be lost. Yes, right. Yes, read it. Many daughters have done virtuously, uh -huh. but you can sell them not all. Read it. Favor is deceitful. Uh huh. And beauty is vain. Yes, Lord. But a woman that fears Yahweh shall be praised. A woman that what? Fears Yahweh See, shall be praised. It starts there. Huh? It starts there. Huh? You want some knowledge? It starts there. The beginning of what? Knowledge is the fear of the Lord. It starts there. You fear him, you're gonna do what the Spirit is telling you to do. Yeah, it's gonna take you out your lazy comfort zone. Amen. Huh? The Spirit is, is, is for you. Remember that it's always for you. It's going to always point out the things about ourselves that we don't like. Amen. 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 That's right. Once again, the dream that I had. Yes. Amen. Mm. Just because we hold titles, Amen. Mm. Right. that don't mean that we entitled. That's right. <laughs> May Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh bless you. Let us all rise and receive. Brother Lee by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. I felt like Dean there for a moment. Hey Amen. Wonderful words from both Prophet Jenkins and Prophet Washington. Uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the donations. I mean, signing off for me. All right, everyone go ahead and rise so we can uh, pray for the tithing offering. Yes, sir. Thank you, Yahweh, for allowing us to be here today again and for the many blessings that you pour upon us. 
and allow us to be here in your house one more time to give back to you everything that you've given to us. Uh, amen. Service to the hands of us.
thank you for all of those good uh, give those y'all will bless those next time to give they wouldn't even all right we're gonna go ahead and move on to announcements Praise Yahweh. Um, Sister Kamiko needs to see the youth of after service from Naya's age all the way to Esaias's age um, after service. Also, there will be a fundraiser this Saturday at 8 a.m. at the same location. Um, we're also selling tonight, I believe it's pulled pork sandwiches. And then um, Sunday after service will be the youth. Uh, choir practice with Sister Sarah. Um, she wants all the youth to bring, remember, youth to bring your songs on Sunday. Amen. 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 I just want to thank you. Also, keep uh, my wife's family in prayer. Uh, her dad, they did not expect him to live long. She said, she said, Praise Yahweh Saints. I want to thank the Saints for all your prayers. I did get the job. Amen. Amen. Uh, praise Yahweh, brother. I have one announcement. Uh, my grandmother is, yes, moving again, yet again. Uh, if you are willing to help, amen. What time? Meet me at my house at 6 Saturday morning. Amen. 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 Amen, Brother Lee. Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Any other announcements? All right, we can go ahead and rise so we can go uh, dismiss. Does anyone need prayer? Uh, everyone bow, bow your heads and raise your voice to Yahweh. Yahweh, thank you for allowing us to be here again, to see you, I mean, to hear your word, and just to learn and get stronger. Let me say, everyone that was here today, that heard the words today, uh, here at Lubbock, uh, Facebook, Mexico, uh, that you take it to heart and remember everything that you said, was said today and knew it in your own lives. Uh, please uh, watch over Dean and Mother Everly's family. Uh, give thanks to Yahweh for He is good and His mercy endures forever. Uh, let Israel now say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those that fear Yahweh say, His mercy endures forever. Let the church now say, Amen.